What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome to the most determined link in the world. Last episode, we started the Earth Temple, or the Wind Temple. <laughs> I had a double take there. Ooh, in this episode, we're going to continue on with forth to the more of the Wind Temple. That totally seems to be more of the Earth Temple. It's like, come on. Whoa, there's a treasure chest down there. That looks really helpful. Wow. That, I'm actually really happy I saw that because... It might be something special to me. Yeah, maybe. I don't freaking know. Let's see what it could possibly be, you guys. Dang it. Open it. Dang it. Open it. <laughs> Come on, man. Open the chest. Open the chest, man. Oh, boy. What do we got here? Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh! You got the gumpers. Now you can see where things are hidden in the dungeon. Let's take a see where things are hidden in the dungeon. Four chests down here. Two chests up there. And two chests up there, like, this temple is tiny. I don't understand. Like, it's so weird. Whoa, what the heck is this? What? That's gotta be a new enemy. I've never seen that before. Seriously? What is that? I swear to me, mom, mate. Oh, you're done, Zode. Oh, I might be getting hit here in a second. Can I escape? Oh, no. Uh, oh, dang it. I went the way he was going. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> All right. Anyway, oh, dang it. I did not want to use fire arrows. Let's see, what, let's see what ice arrows do to these guys. Right after I steal your gold feather. Oh, crap. I'm stuck. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I hope he smushes when he falls. Cool. Hmm, more Makar related things right there. Yeah, that goes down even farther. Huh. Even farther. I kind of said there's a little bit weird. Oh, there's a locked door over there. There's an unlocked door over here. So it's I think it's the only way we can go. And there's a dead end, but there's two chests here. Hope there's like a key or something here. Okay, now the way this works here is there's actually every time you go down it, there'll be other things that spawn down here. It's really weird. Oh boy, that actually worked out pretty well. There's another one. There's another one. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, it's, it's really weird. I don't really understand how it works. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, every time we jump down here with in one of those caves, other things happen down here. Oh, can we just jump straight up there from here? Apparently. Ow! That's weird. I don't feel like those should really hurt you, but they do. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is... Uh, I hate to do this, you guys, but I have to destroy and figure out... <gasps> Maybe that's not a good idea. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it. Let's just do it this way. I was going to say... Oh, wait, we have to pull the other square over here, too. That sucks. I was wondering why this block was here. I'll definitely tell you, when you come down here in a certain way, it makes these guys respond. Or come active, I guess. Okay, let's get a better look-see here. But, uh, I was just thinking, once we come up here and grab the, the key or whatever's in this treasure, I'm assuming it's a key. Um, it might, I think it deactivates these spikes, but I hope it doesn't deactivate the entire, like, everything in the room activates thing, right? It shouldn't. Whoa! Okay, that was a bit scary. Let's open this. You got us monkeys! We up some locked doors and stuff. If you take a look at the map, there's another treasure chest in here. Presumably, it responds right here. I think that either activates one one, you complete all these. See? Look at that. I knew it! Or two, after you've, uh... After you jumped on the correct one. The correct one! Green Chew, thank you. <laughs> thank you to the Green Chew. Uh, I hate these guys go down for so long. It's annoying at the pain in the bum. Actually, it reminds me of, um, I was playing the Hyrule Warriors, although I want to play that. I have that game, I just haven't played it yet, because I might let's play it eventually. By the time I do that, though, it'll be a freaking ancient game. It already is kind of an ancient game. <laughs> but, um, I've been playing uh, Nintendo Land with my girlfriend, uh, the Zelda-themed one. And I gotta say, the chews in that are the freaking most annoying thing. There's a lot of annoying things. I, we finally beat it. I got so mad though. There was multiple times where my girlfriend was like, maybe we should take a break. Because I was getting so mad at it. 
Oh, good lord. And yeah, just I don't know. It, I don't know. I don't know how many guys have played that, but I gotta say, it might not be hard for a lot of you. Actually, it's not really that hard once you figure out like all the tips and tricks, like when you're gonna want to defend or when it's ideal to defend and when it's ideal to attack. But uh, I'm trying to say, in the process of figuring out what does what, Did these guys come alive yet? No. Oh, really? One of them just doesn't do anything. That's cool. I guess that's part of the one in five chance thing. One, of, one, one out of five times, you're not going to have to fight anybody. You're going to have a real easy time clearing the spikes in that room. Cool. All right, well, last one. Well, I guess you guys could probably figure out what this last one's going to be. Yeah, there we go. So I guess it doesn't kill everything. It's more of a break all the floor tiles. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, ice now, I was going to say. Ice will probably won't do anything. Hey, look at that. Look at that again. Yeah, keep in mind. Oh dang it! I probably shouldn't just waste time here. Look at the arrows too. I really like the design of the arrows here. Oh, see, look at the arrow there beside the switch arrow spot. It's all like it's not just a simple arrow. It has like a little Jagan mark as well. That's cool. There's a, probably a real, very realistic design of an arrow as well, so it'd be harder for whoever got hit by it to pull it out. Hey, right. I almost forgot we even got a chest here. Well, you guys could probably guess what this is gonna be. But I'm not gonna tell you in case you can't. <laughs> we got the treasure chart! Oh, this button's on the mouse screen, and place will light up where stuff and stuff. Cool beans, brother! Cool beans, brother! Alright, so now. Oh, the dudes didn't respond. <laughs> respond. Please respond! That's good. Let's go through here. Oh, that has a unique symbol on it. Oh no, is this where we get the temple of the item? Oh boy. Oh, I remember this battlefield in the next episode. Just kidding. Let's do it now. Once again, a dumb joke because you guys can very clearly see how much longer the episode is. A oh, whiz, bro. We already fought this guy. A very El Dorado looking whiz robe. I gotta say, I love this guy. He's really cool. He doesn't afraid of anything. But yeah, these whiz robes are some of our enemies. Oh, good lord. Okay. Well, I guess the best way to... Uh, okay, this is this might be a little scary to do, you guys. Okay, now let's see where he goes. There he is. No! Wrong guy! Wrong guy! Wrong guy! No! Did he... Oh, he didn't summon a thing. Ah, uh, get the bone feather. Uh, I hit him with two arrows. That's cool. No, no, no! Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, that guy could be pretty freaking hard. Oh, really? Oh! Oh, I didn't realize the gold guy also summoned stuff. This is a pretty good way to grind, though. For oh, no, no, no. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes. All right. No! Oh, God dang it! Freaking, freaking freak. <laughs> oh, phew. Not doing too well in this dungeon. Oh man. You can definitely tell this dungeon was meant to be the last one of the game. Difficulty definitely ramps up quite a bit. Or I'm just sucking more. That could also be it. So yeah. That wizard robe that summons stuff. I guess two of them summon things. The gold one, but like the, the one in the robe was the most like main one. I guess. Oh, that looks like it has a face. You got the hook shot. Extends and retracts and latches on the things. What a cool invention. Look at look at the face. Look at the face. You see it? Ah, two angry eyes. <laughs> Release the button and it, it does stuff. My favorite item in any Zelda game ever. The hook shot. Followed by the bombs. I guess I haven't really talked about that yet. That's crazy. How many more floors do we got here? Look at that. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rooms they haven't been in yet. That's crazy talk. That's crazy talk, man. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy frog. Crazy frog. Crazy frog. All right, so yes, do I really? I thought there was a way to get up there. There's no more treasure in here, is there? I don't think there is. I remember this being the way. I remember you had to like grapple onto like over there, and you had to make your way towards this, not just grapple directly to it. But all right, oops, probably should keep that on. Yes, this is definitely my favorite item in any Zelda game. The freaking gosh dog diggity hook shot. It's just so fun to me. I just love playing with it. It's so fun to play with. Wee! 
Is there seriously? There's nothing over there, hey? Huh. All right. Dolly noted. But yeah, so essentially, like, you could come in here, and if you need golden feathers or anything, how many, do I have 20 yet? Please tell me I have 20. I do. Oh, I have 28. Jeez. If you need, like, freaking these things, Knight's Crest still, which you really shouldn't at this point in the game. I mean, seriously, as soon as you do, as soon as you, like, fight in Hyrule Castle there, you should have enough Knight's Crests to talk to people. <laughs> To go be able to go back to Orca. Maybe it'd be good for making money as well, though. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see if these could kill them. Actually, I don't even need to do that anymore. Oh, okay. Well, that works, I guess. I mean, it's a bit more roundabout, but that's okay. Uh, which way do you want to go now? Aha! I see. I see. Let's get over here. And that's not going to be good. Although, oh man. <laughs> Alright, so as of now, we're not going to worry about using my hook shot anymore or not my hook shot my uh my grappling hook to get golden feathers all right now we can actually start making our way back up here for reasons that might be unclear to you still but trust me it'll make sense when you get up there all right there's no more wait a minute is there any more treasure chests in this main room looks like there's one where Makar is but it doesn't look like there's anything left in the main room that's good to know very good to know it's kind of weird though i kind of figured that at least be like rupee chests or something Hmm, this place really isn't that big, is it? Can I reach that? I'll go from here. Did I go the wrong way? Oh, I see. Alright, dully noted there's a dude over here. And he's mad! Oh, thankfully I killed him. <laughs> uh, I don't feel like he would have been too happy if I came back up eventually. Can I reach that from here? See how close- Ooh, that's scary. That's scary, man! I got a, I probably got a deco leaf over there. All right, let's go over here. Halloween! And hope I don't even know how you would get punched by those things. It's like you really would have to go out of your way. Okay, whatever you say, game. <laughs> all right, get all the stuff and the things. Oh, good lord, the stuff and the things are the wonderful. They're wonderful. Eh, please just make it up there naturally. Thank you. Didn't want to have to go back and pull my Deku Leaf. It's like the only temple in the game where it's like, you have to stop and take out items occasionally. Maybe I wouldn't have had to do so much if it wasn't for my grapple hook and wanting to get those bone feathers. But still, I still count that because I, the game should know I want golden feathers. So wow, that didn't even show up. I thought I would grab it. Alright, I see there's more dudes up there. I could try to snipe them out, but nah. Oh, cheap. I did not expect them to get over here so quick. Golden feather? Aww. Um, Alright, my car is probably being kept over here. I think. Right. Don't want to get too crazy there with walking around where I can't see. Aha, I see you up there. Or not. What the heck? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, I see. This shot was like glitching around. It's probably that guy there or something. All right, so let's save my car now. What? Link! The stone blocks entrance seems extremely heavy. Heavy as a Deku tree. Okay, I get it. Jeez, so needy. <laughs> oh, actually, don't be silly. Wrap your willy. So you're going to move out of the way. Because that will squish you, and it will hurt you. I don't think it hurts you that much, but I don't want to take any chances here in Hero Mode. Seriously, you couldn't even open this chest for me, dude? You got joy pendant! Screw you! Ha! <laughs> it's actually funny. I thought for sure I'd have way more than enough by now, but apparently not. Alright, so now we have this dude again. Uh, we've been to all these places already. Um, all these statues that are, like, above us here. You know, we'll just throw them down. Screw it. Bye! Oh, no, please fall. Where are you gonna? Okay, it looks like he fell straight down. Super. So all these things you see on the wall now, you can grab. <gasps> Whoa! Well, oh, crap. Didn't expect that. Can we? I don't think we'd reach it from here. To be fair, we're still gonna try. Oh no, we maybe can. Yeah, there we go. If they fall down. They give you stuff occasionally, but not that time apparently because my life sucks. Whee! There we go. Ha ha! Oh, there you are, Makar. Super. I really wish. Come on! <laughs> 
Not to do that as much in this temple. I really wish you could just get over here and make him impress us himself. Like, hey, look, do it. Do the thing. But no, you have to use your Wind Waker up here. Whoa! Cameron didn't know what to do there at all. <laughs> all right, plant the tree. Oh, man. He's going to be facing the wrong way. Here, I'll at least have his buddy face the correct way. So that way he could describe to his tree friend what's going on. <laughs> oh, boy. Yay! Do -do 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 -do. So I have activation of the really? That's all that does? Alright. Hmm. So let's see. Let's get this working again. Come on. Alright, so yeah. Huge updraft makes us be able to go all the way up. And I guess that's what those punchy things are maybe for, I hope. Well not I hope, but probably what they are for. Holy crap, how far is this gonna go? Uh huh. Okay, that's a bit too far. It's a bit too far. It's a bit too far. No, that sucks, dude. Come on, why can't I go over there? Hello? Seriously? I can't get in the draft. Do I have to start in the draft? Is that the only way for me to really go up? Oh no, don't touchy. Oh no, don't touchy. Come on, it's not gonna be enough. Come on! No! No! I'm about to lose my thing. Holy crap, that is so far. Okay, it still might be good though. Uh, uh. Oof. Okay, so I guess we'll just call it quits there. <laughs> we'll call it good. Alright, let's wait for this. Alright, eh. And holy crap. Let's figure out where the heck he went. Over there? That looks right. Oh boy, this is so freaking high in the sky. Let's go up here. Let's go on top of this windmill for, you know, to be fun. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I've never been up here before. I really get a new perspective of the dungeon. Alright, let's get down here. So I guess this really just... I mean, you feel like this would unlock a lot. It really kind of does... Whoa, you're just right on the edge, aren't you? I don't feel like I put you right at the edge there, but okay, if you say so, game. You got you. Mm. Seriously, game. Seriously. Seriously. Alright. Um, there's a few ways for us to go here. What I really want to do is go back to one of the first rooms. Which maybe would be... Which way would that be? Is that the way I'm facing here? I think it is. I think I want to go this way. Oh, no! Oh, this sucks. Okay, thankfully that didn't take any damage from me. Aw, oh, man. I need more magic. Aw, oh, the way... Aw, oh, the reason, the whole reason why I got up there was so I could get my bearings and just float down to where I wanted to go. I don't know if I'll even be able to get there just like this in one run. Hmm. Alright, let's do it. Whee! Link's face. <laughs> so funny to me. Uh, I think it's only this way. No, it's not this one at all, but that's okay. Ooh! Well, I was gonna say, maybe that pot will help me, but maybe not. Alright, asshole! You need to stop now! Don't hide behind the pot! Pothead! Haha, <laughs> get it? It's a joke. It's a drug joke. Um, right here, that's where I wanna go. Yeah? Yeah! Okay, uh, let's get him over here. I almost just went in that room without bringing him over here to see where it brought me. Where is he? He's... Is that him? Is that me? I don't want to get in there. Oh, good lord, the camera's all freaking out on me. The camera's all freaking out on me. Alright. Get down there, please. Oh, man. Don't draft. Don't do a draft. Hey! Let's walk along the edge. That was kind of helpful. I'm stuck against this. I think that wind current just kind of screws you over. Wow, you can just see right in that wall. Okay, perfect. See my face. Wow, I'm so conscious. I'm not even using the wind waker. That's kind of weird. Kind of creepy looking in a way. Okay! Okay! Let's go back in this room. And I can climb up here. Oh boy. Not for fighting this guy, apparently. That, that term, Link! Link, I think the hook shot you have could probably latch one of the trees I planted. Give it a try. Oh, yeah. I guess I never did explain that, did it? <laughs> um, 
Oh, it doesn't reach. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think it's going to summon things. Oh, no. Ah, oh, he did summon things. Probably just keys, though, right? Or nothing at all. Oh, I see some. Oh, you know, it might be bubbles. Yeah, I think it's bubbles. Bubble bobbles. Are you going to come back, dude? Aha! In your face! Bubbles, I know you're up there. There we go. Just, just the one? That's adorable. Oh, it's two. Oh, no, just one. I saw the tree. Seriously? It's like going through the eye socket. I'm like shooting him through the eye socket. <laughs> oh, can you drop something? Alrighty then. Up here. Does this just lead to a dead end room? Ooh, it leads to the second floor. Huh. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if already. My name's Chris, and the next one, we'll go through this door and see where it leads. I kind of didn't... I thought this was maybe a dead end, just an extra thing, but maybe it's something more than that. I don't freaking remember. I kind of feel like in the first game, I like the, wind, the, the flying ability was so nerfed that you couldn't even make it over here in one go. Like you had to stop on one of those platforms down there. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.